I'm staggered by the question of what it's like to be a multimillionaire. I always have to remind myself that I am. I'm really just a regular guy who has had an incredibly blessed life. There's a long history of all kinds of cop films, but all these films are really about the same thing, the good guys triumphing over the bad guys. Our marriage is like anybody's marriage, it goes through ups and downs. It's a little garden that you have to tend all the time. When we're home, it's not like we walk around all dolled up going, we are celebrities. We are famous. I change diapers. I clean up dog do. You can kind of judge how old a film is by the size of the cell phones. I had been around Bruce Willis for two straight movies, so I saw the way the paparazzi follows him and the way the public is with him. He's a megastar over in Europe. My favorite lie was the online rumor that Bruce Willis was my uncle. That's hilarious. It's funny, like 15 years ago when I was a kid doing all the John Hughes movies, I remember Bruce Willis was the only guy who was transitioning from television into film. I wake up laughing every day. I get a kick out of life. My wife heard me say I love you a thousand times, but she never once heard me say sorry. My friends are always honest with me about films. But I really wanted to talk to regular people and kind of have a forum to interact with them, not just about films, but about everything. I'm much more proud of being a father than being an actor. What I say is what I say. I don't always say the right thing. I don't always say the politically correct thing. I don't have any regrets about that. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. On the one hand, we'll never experience childbirth. On the other hand, we can open all our own jars. I had no idea Canada could be so much fun. I like a little movie I did in the early 90s called Mortal Thoughts. The part was hardly written, but I learned a lot making it. No one remembers it. I would say, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. But I was just kidding myself. There is nothing better than strolling down the beach the way God made you. Every day, I work at not taking this fame thing seriously. Fortunately, I have a great group of friends who help me do this. It doesn't matter how many people I've killed. What matters is how I get along with the people who are still alive. You wouldn't want to see a movie where the bad guys triumph over the good guys all the time. You get bummed out, and you just stay at home and watch the news. Violence, look, we live in a violent world, man. This country was founded on violence. Who's kidding who? I hate government. I'm apolitical. Write that down. I'm not a Republican. Too many children in foster care are falling through cracks. Be a hero. Take the time to learn about adoption today. They look right. And you move left. I'm always excited to be around other actors. I sometimes only get to work with myself, and it's so tedious. I was so excited to go to work every day, and we ran into work every day. I mean, look, I wear makeup in films. I don't wear makeup in real life. It's just part of the gig, that's all. I've always had confidence. Before I was famous, that confidence got me into trouble. After I got famous, it just got me into more trouble. I like having the dough to come and go as I please. I have just as many liberal ideas as I have conservative ideas that I argue with myself sometimes. I think the rules are going to have to change for me to ever run for public office. My checkered past will always keep me out of politics. My favorite job is being a father. I have four girls now. They're a captive audience. I believe in justice, and I believe in people being held responsible for their actions. After I did the first Die Hard, I said I'd never do another, same after I did the second one and the third. The whole genre was running itself into the ground. You can't undo the past, but you can certainly not repeat it. 
Everybody, no matter how old you are, is around 24, 25 in their heart. I could never write my memoirs just because too many people are still alive and would be hurt. Frankly, reviews are mostly for people who still read. Like most of the written word, it is going the way of the dinosaur. Cinema has no boundaries. We all belong to the same artistic community. I got to work with Dustin Hoffman on a film called Billy Bathgate. I got to work with Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn and Bob Zemeckis on Death Becomes Her. There are still a few actors out there that I would like to work with. Art imitates life and, sometimes, life imitates art. It's a weird combination of elements.